My name is Carl Cohen. I'm with the Garland, Texas Fire Department. And we're here at balmy Appleton, Wisconsin. It's 25 degrees, so it's a little bit out of our element. Uh, we're here to talk about our 100-foot ascendant platform, mid-mount, that we were on final inspection for. We put it on an Aero XT cab. Part of our problem in Garland is with the increase in population and the uh, additional cars and everything in our city, we're getting kind of congested. So we're wanting to make sure our apparatus are as narrow and as short as we can possibly get them. To that end, we went with the Aero XT, and we also put on the TAC-4 T3 rear end. Uh, the color scheme is relatively new over the last six years. We've gone with this gray over red, smoky gray. Been getting a lot of compliments on it, and I'll go ahead and say it, it's the prettiest truck Pierce has ever made. So as we come back through it, you have a 40 degree crimp angle on the front, which really helps with that turning radius and helps us get around the corners in the uh, business district. So for the rear of the cab, even though we went with the non-extended Aero XT, we typically ride four personnel on this apparatus. So we have three jump seats in the back, three Scott seats. We also have our interior EMS compartment here to the right. To the left is for the driver's bunker gear, and the top will be for our uh, Zoll monitors or some more EMS equipment, or probably wind up being a junk drawer for the most part. We have some really nice mounting surfaces on the doghouse so we can mount our uh, radio charging systems and flashlights or anything else we need. Since we are in Texas, you'll notice that we have an RV style AC unit in there. So when we're in the station, we'll keep it plugged in. It'll keep the cab cool during the summer and then the auto eject the plugs and we'll change over to the 24 volt AC system while we're in route. The rest of the setup is pretty standard for the uh, mid mount. They've spent over two years engineering the pump house, so we didn't want to make any changes there. We have our uh, two cross lays on the speed lays. And then as we uh, come back, the rest of the compartmentation is essentially the exact same. It was, was on the, uh, the initial mid mount that people came up to Appleton to check out and that they drove around to FDIC and to the Dallas area and also to the East Coast. And I'm not sure where else they took it. But we really didn't make any changes to compartmentation. We felt like the engineers at Pierce did a good enough job over the two years engineering this. Who are we to change all that stuff up just for Garland? One thing we did change and that we're pretty excited about is this TAC-4 T3 rear end. The rear tires will move at nine degrees. The uh, front tires will move at three degrees. So that gives us that 21 foot turning radius. And we're really excited about that. Every department we talk to that runs with this, they've stated they're not going to go back. And this will be our first experiment with the, uh, with the TAC-4 T3. We're positive enough about this change that we're also putting it on a 107 foot straight stick and two pumpers. All three of those will be delivered by the end of the summer. So then we'll have four units in Garland with that steerable rear end. And as you can see on the back, it is going to the big house. It will be at our central station, which is downtown. Really appreciate Pierce going ahead and putting on uh, the decals so we don't have to do that once we get in. All right, as I stated previously, for Garland, this is going to be our first mid mount. It is replacing a 100 foot Pierce rear mount uh, platform that we actually purchased back in 1995. So we take good care of our equipment, and Pierce makes good equipment. This will have a 2000 GPM pump, which comes standard with this uh, particular unit. And we'll have two master streams on the back. One is uh, going to be fully manual, and the other one is going to be a mechanical, so that we can control that remotely if we need to. Uh, so we'll have a smooth bore on the, the one that's going to be on the right, and then, of course, the fog will be on the uh, other. As you move back from the platform, which we have well lit with all kinds of uh, LED lighting, there's saw boxes on either side of the... Uh, of the bucket so that way we can carry a K-12 and we can carry a, a typical chainsaw. We did go ahead and stay with the breathing air component on this so that uh, if we're up for more than 30 minutes we can click in and continue breathing in any kind of hazardous atmosphere. Uh, other than that, the rest of that ladder is pretty standard. What is, what is unique about this particular type of unit is the 
the way the ladder extends. It it actually operates more like a uh, well, I can't think of the name of the equipment now, so you're going to cut that part out. <laughs> But it, it, it is a, a five-piece ladder system, so that's what enables us to keep this unit so short, which is nice. As we come back through this part, we come back to the pump panel. On this side, you have all your intakes and discharges for, the, uh, for your uh, main lines coming in. And then we're back to the cab. The officer's side, we, uh, we made the dash very low so that once we put in our MDC, that's going to be out of the way of the driver's view. We also have, it's a, working, it's a working cab. There's not going to be a lot of leather and vinyl up there. There's a little bit in the heading or in the header and in the seats, and that's it. The rest of it's strictly a working cab. On behalf of Chief Lee, who is our fire chief, I'd like to thank Pierce Manufacturing for producing this fantastic truck for us. Our truck committee is up here doing the final inspection on it. That's Battalion Chief Doug Attaway, Captain Ron Short, Driver Engineer Chris White. He's the one with the amazing mustache everybody's commenting on. And I will add that all three of those refused a direct order to do this for me. So thank you very much. Enjoy the uh, tour. And I hope you get a chance to come up here and build one yourself.